Hello friends, Namaskar. As you all know that in the last budget, Honorable Finance Minister in her budget speech has spoken about this point that the PF interest above certain threshold contribution would be taxable. So then a question which kept on coming before the employees at large was that okay, how this PF interest would be computed, how much amount would be taxable. In this regard, CBDT has issued certain rules on behalf of Government of India. Through this video, I am trying to brief all such particular calculation related points for your consideration. So just to begin with, I would like to reiterate that in budget 2021, what was the declaration in her budget speech for 21-22, the finance minister, honorable finance minister, Mrs. Nirmala Sitaraman had proposed taxing the income on PF contribution above rupees 2.5 lakh rupees a year. So this is what was proposed and that has been later finalized also. Further, this limit was later enhanced to rupees 5 lakh for PF accounts where the employees make where the employers make no contribution say for example in the case of civil servants where the employer is not contributing only employees contributing this contribution limit threshold was exceeded from rupees 2.5 lakh to rupees 5 lakh rupees now i take you further to understand the concept in a better manner in terms of understanding that okay what are the rules proposed in this regard so if we understand conceptually that okay what will be the taxable amount whether my pf contribution would be taxable of course the answer is no that since the pf contribution which you are making whether within threshold limit or out of threshold limit that is beyond that it is your income only so it can't be taxed again but whatever contribution you make it will earn interest there and that interest on the pf contribution which is exceeding the threshold limit of rupees 2.5 lakh or 5 lakh as the case may be is proposed to be made taxable as i said my dear friends in beginning that cbdt on behalf of government of india has brought certain rules in this regard so what is that rule that the cbdt has inserted rule 9d in the income tax rules 1962 wide notification number 95 oblique 2021 dated 31st of august 2021 so these are the rules which gives us uh, light on the matter that okay how this interest amount would be taxable and let me discuss this particular rule in details with you in the further discussions so the question which now comes up before us is that how to determine taxable interest amount and you see that interestingly that the classification of pf account is proposed in two portions by the cvdt one is non taxable contribution account and second is taxable contribution account that is the cbdt has proposed that now your pf account would be bifurcated in say two accounts one is non taxable contribution account second is taxable contribution account so say threshold limit is 2.5 lakh i'm contributing 3 lakh rupees then up to 2.5 lakh rupees my contribution would go into non taxable contribution account beyond 2.5 lakh say 50000 in my case would go into taxable contribution account because somehow you have to determine a modus operandi as to this amount related interest would be exempt and this amount related interest would be taxable so unless you bifurcate pf into two parts it would not be convenient for uh, from the point of view of assess even so that is how this particular modus operandi will be helpful in further discussions and in further calculations now because we understood that there are two bifurcations let's understand okay what is the composition of non taxable contribution account the non taxable contribution account shall be this is as per cbdt rule 9d be aggregate of the following number one closing balance of account as on 31st day of march 2021 so this is very clear that maybe in the preceding years we have been contributing about 2.5 lakh rupees and that about 2.5 lakh rupees contribution related question would come that whether their interest would be taxable the answer is no the government has set the dispute at rest by saying that okay whatever is your balance as of 31st of march 2021 on that particular date whatever is the balance is standing but whether it was within 2.5 lakh rupees limits or above that that interest is not going to be taxable in future further any contribution which is made by the person in the account during the previous year 21 22 and in subsequent previous year which is not included in taxable contribution account so that will also not be taxable 
and any interest accrued on sub clause 1 and 2 above would also not be taxable. Means, say I had 1 crore rupees as on 31st of March 2021, I further contributed 2 lakh rupees, say 1 crore 2 lakh rupees, say I earn 8%, say 8 lakh rupees on that amount. So, total amount 1 crore plus 2 lakh plus 1 year's interest, say 8 lakh rupees, all will form part of my non taxable contribution account. But I'll put this up before you through an example also. However, such amounts will be further reduced by any withdrawal if from such account. If you have withdrawn any amount, naturally that balance has to be reduced. Now, let us understand what is taxable contribution account. Naturally, you know the answer to it that the contribution above rupees 2.5 lakh rupees should be taxable. So, taxable contribution account as per CBDT rule shall be aggregate of the following, namely contribution made by the person in the previous year in account during the financial year 21-22 and subsequent previous year, which is in excess of threshold limit and interest accrued on sub clause 1 further reduced by withdrawal if any from such account. So, these will form part of taxable contribution account. Now, let me put up the case before you through an example so that you can clearly understand and let me demonstrate it through an example that let us assume PF balance in account of an SSE or an employee say Mr. X as on 31st of March 2021 was rupees 50 lakh. In the current year, he contributed rupees 2.5 lakh or 2.4 lakh rupees further. At the rate 8.5% on 50 lakh rupees initial opening balance, let's say this person earns rupees 4 lakh 25,000. And in the current year contribution of rupees 2.54 lakh, the SSE has earned 11,050 rupees. So the question comes that since the interest amount uh, above rupees 2.5 lakh rupees contribution is nil, so what will be the taxable interest? The answer is nil. And the question comes, okay, what will be the exempt interest? That will be 4,25,000 plus 11,050 total 436,050. So, at the end of the year, what will be the closing balance of exam contribution account? It will be 1, this 50 lakh, second, this amount and third, the interest amount. These combined together will form part of closing balance of exam contribution account. And what will be the closing balance of taxable contribution account? Since the contribution did not exceed 2.5 lakh rupees, hence this case would be nil. So, this is example 1. Now, let me put up example 2 before you in which the PF balance was on 31st of March 21 was rupees 50 lakh. The current year contribution at the rate 25,000 rupees per month comes to rupees 3 lakh. So, means the employee is contributing above rupees 2.5 lakh. Interest earned on say opening balance of rupees 50 lakh is 4 lakh 25,000. And on the current year contribution, let us assume I calculated it separately on an Excel sheet and put the form, uh, directly amount here say 13,813 here. Now comes that okay, what will be the taxable interest on the contribution above rupees 2.5 lakh that is 50,000. Let us assume the interest comes to rupees 531 rupees. So, 531 will be taxable and the balance amount that is 425 plus 13813 minus 531 would total be exempt interest amount which will not be taxable in the hands of employee and 531 would be taxable. Now comes what will be the closing balance of exam contribution account that will be one opening balance, second 2.5 lakh rupees contribution for the year and third the interest 425 and interest on 13813 minus 531. So total 56,88,282 let us say in my example is the balance of the closing balance of exam contribution account. And therefore, what will be the closing balance of taxable contribution account? About 2.5 lakh contribution 50,000 plus 531 interest there on total 50,531. So, moving forward, next year this 5531 will earn the interest to the SSE and that amount of interest would also be taxable. So, that is how this particular modus operandi of the interest computation would move further. One more important question which you may be interested to know the answer about is that okay whether there will be tax deduction that is TDS applicability on the taxable PF interest. The answer is yes sir. If your PF interest on the taxable contribution account for a year exceeds rupees 5000 then interest under section 194A at the rate 10% at per the, as per the present rates would be applicable. Final point which you need to understand here is that whether tax is deducted or not. 
whatever is the interest on taxable contribution account balance for a year naturally that would be given to you by the pf authority or by your employer that amount of interest you need to offer in your itr and that is how if there is a say tds which is higher side you may claim a refund if there is a tds on lower side and you still need to pay you will be paying it from your own pocket so this is how this particular rule 9d will affect your itr computations so at last my dear friends i hope that uh, this video would have been helpful to you in terms of you understanding the concept of the cbdt rules on taxation of pf interest and lot of clarity has been provided by way of this rule 90 but still if you have any queries you can write to me i will try my level best to answer to your queries thank you very much for listening to me for being with me and for your precious feedback and support wishing you all the best jain